Hey guys, it's Sunclear. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very cool 808 using PicPint. So without talking any longer, let's get right into the tutorial. So to start, I'm going to select here the analog engine so that I have three oscillators here. And we're just going to use oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. So I'm just going to turn up the volume on oscillator 2. I'm going to set them both to square waves. very very nice so since an 808 is a sub i'm going to turn down the course pitch here to negative 24 semitones which is two octaves down and the second oscillator i think i might select 12 semitones and I want to adjust the fine tuning so it has a little bit of drifting in the in the tone. Now I'm going to enable the filter here and I'm going to choose maybe the matrix 12 and see how that one sounds. I'm going to adjust the resonance way up. I'm going to choose that area and enable the keyboard tracking. And I'm so far liking it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some envelopes so that it can, just to add a bit of modulation here. I'm going to select the envelope tab here so that in a moment I can start adjusting different parameters. So I personally don't like having the second envelope with the course tuning. So I'm going to select the third envelope here. Just to make a very fast attack, I'm just going to disable here this view. It's already sounding very 808-ish. I'm gonna increase the release a little bit so it has that nice little 808 tail. Yeah, I really like it. I'm just going to turn down now the volume. So I might change to try out and see how the mini filter here sounds. I personally don't like it, so let's go back into the matrix. Yeah, that sounds way better. Yeah, I really like the tone of this 808 now. So I'm just going to add some distortion now. Just a teeny bit of distortion.
Yeah, that sounds very big, very bassy, very... We can try experimenting by adding, for example, multiband. And then we can add, for example, this. We can add some different effects there, but basically we've created our very cool 808 using pigment. Has, and it has a very nice movement like it's not just a static 808 it's very nice dynamic 808 with that moving thanks to the fine the fine tuning creates a nice little drifting effect which sounds very great on 808s anyways this was just a very quick pigments tutorial I'm gonna be making some very cool pigments content um, I want to thank the guys at Arturia for sending me a copy of pigments so that I can create this kind of content. I'm going to be doing a full pigments review very soon. I've just been testing out the different engines and pigments, the different filters, effects, so you can do a very complete review on pigments 3. Anyways, thank you Arturia for sponsoring this copy of pigments. Thank you guys for watching the content on my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time.